sometimes when we do our transformations, I won't give you an equation at all. Um, all I will give you is a graph like this one. And what we're going to do is to perform transformations on it without knowing the equation. And so the way that we do that is we represent this as y equals f of x. And I'll ask you to graph something like um, another type of transformation we did was where we actually negated the outside of the function. Again, if the negation is on the outer part of the function, it's going to affect the y coordinate. How is it going to affect it? It's going to negate it in this case. It's going to take the opposite. Okay, so what's going to happen when we take every positive y and change it to a negative y? is that it's going to flip over the x-axis. So this is what's called a vertical vertical reflection. Okay, so for example, anything that's got a zero y value is going to stay the same. So on our graph here, all these points on the x-axis, they're going to stay right where they are. But for example, the point zero 3, we're changing the y value to negative 3, so it flipped down this way. And the point four, negative three, we're changing the y value to a positive, so it flip up this way. So you end up getting a reflection of the original graph over the x-axis. Okay, so it looks something like this. A vertical reflection when you have a negative outside or out front of the function. All right, what if you had a negative inside the function? You might have guessed that if you had f of negative x, you're replacing each x with a negative x, so you're going to reflect over the y-axis or get a horizontal reflection. In other words, let's take a look at that. And what that looks like is, see this point six zero here? That's gonna go way over here to negative six zero. The point negative, or sorry, two zero is gonna go to negative two zero and the point negative two zero is going to go to two zero. The point zero three, well, if you change zero to negative zero, it doesn't change, right? So that's going to stay the same. And then this point four negative three is going to change to negative four negative three over here. So we're going to get a reflection over the y-axis and our new graph is going to look like the mirror image of the original graph messy sorry <laughs> okay so negative inside the parentheses you get a horizontal reflection and then the last thing that we did was a stretch or compress which happens when we multiply the function by a value so let's say I wanted to um, we could have g of x equal two times the original function f of x Again, since the 2 is on the outside of the function, the outer part affects the y-coordinate, you'd be doubling every y-value. So 2 times every y. So this gives us a stretch away from the x-axis. So for example, well, when you multiply every y-value by 2, the ones that already have 0 for y, they're not going anywhere because 0 times 2 is still 0. But, for example, the point 0, 3 becomes 0, 6. And the point 4, negative 3 becomes 4, negative 6. So it gets, we get the effect of stretching the graph away from the x-axis. So we get the same shape, this kind of squiggle, <laughs> the zigzag, but it's stretched away from the x-axis. If that had been instead of a 2, like a half, you would compress it closer to the x-axis. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.